Russ. Yeah. Hey, Russ, how you doing? I'm Welcome doing to the fine. Greg and Tony Show. How are you today, sir? Doing pretty good. All right, you got this book out, huh? Oh yeah. We've been enjoying your book, sir. Yeah. Did okay. you read it? That's right. A little, um, might I say, a little risque. Oh, uh, just a little. Just yeah. a bit. A couple of things kind of you know, spun my hat around a couple of times. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you know what I mean. Oh yeah. Everything yeah. you know yeah. about sex is wrong. Russ. Yeah. That's the title of the book. Yes. Yeah. Uh, just to let you know, we do a very uh, family-oriented radio show here, so we got to keep it kind of uh, between the lines, if you know what I mean. Oh, is that right? Okay. Well, when we were approached by our producer about having you on with this uh, book, we kind of uh, we were a little leery about it, to okay. tell you the truth, because it is very explicit, and mm -hmm. this is a, a family-oriented show, uh, and uh, we were trying to figure out how to actually touch on some of the subjects. Okay. Well. Mm-hmm. Tell me what you've figured out. How can we touch on this? Well, well uh, why did you put this book out? What were you hoping to uh, gain? Oh, uh, let's see. Well, I've been doing all these uh, anthologies for the... Hey, that's not a bad word, is it? <laughs> Anthology. <laughs> you know. Uh, go, go ahead, Russ. Go ahead. Well, I've been doing these anthologies for the, the disinformation company in New York, and... Uh -huh. um, you know, we've been doing kind of unthemed ones. They just were all over the map. They covered sex, but they also covered current events, right? History and you know, all right. kinds. Of, you know, but the the angle always was things that are you know controversial or hidden stuff like that. And so we decided it was time to do a themed one. And what better theme than sex? I mean. There's just so much... Sex sells, doesn't it there? Yeah, but there's such a preoccupation with sex in this country, I think, and I think it might be hurting our children. What do you think, <laughs> Russ? What do you think? No, I, I don't think so. I, I think the kids are going to be just fine. Some... All right, let's just go to the phones. Uh, Steve. Steve from Yellowstone. We are a national program. You're on the phone with Russ Kick. Author of the book, Everything You Know About Sex is Wrong. Hello, Russ. How are you? I'm uh, doing fine. I'm sorry, too. I'm a little bit nervous. I've never been on the radio before. Hello? It's okay. okay. That's okay, uh, Steve. You're on with Russ Kick. I, I was looking at a little piece of your, um, your, your thing. Sometimes I like to drink, um, and, and I, I'll get way too drunk to do any type of functioning or production work. And I wanted to know, why does alcohol sometimes affect my sexual performance? Anything in your book about alcohol and sex? Uh, a lot of times because I, I get yelled at because a lot of times I'll go out for sushi dinners and I'll just cry inappropriately and I'll just basically cause a problem. Hmm. Yeah, well, alcohol is actually known for uh, dampening <laughs> sexual ability. So. <laughs> Excuse me? This guy circle jerks with children. This guy jerks off reading Adam Ross taste transcripts. My goodness. <laughs> This guy has AIDS and is kin to a monkey. I really want to apologize for our uh, caller. Uh, sometimes they get out of hand, gonna, as yeah. you can tell, Russ. I'm going to hang up on he, Steve he, from Yellowstone. Uh, obviously, that was some type of prank, uh, prank call, prank call. Mm -hmm. We get those from time to time. I'm sorry, Russ. No problem. I don't know him. Prank caller. Prank caller. Uh, are nuns and priests having sex? Uh, you you discuss that in the book. Maybe we should get into that because that's a hot topic these days. <laughs> well, um, yes, actually, they they are. Yeah. Now now you're treading on sacred ground, Russ. Oh yeah. Well. Uh, have you gotten any um, any flack from uh, the church because of this? No. Not yet. Now, what are they doing? How are they doing it? Where? Uh, it doesn't seem like you could just, you know, be in the church. Oh. Ah. 
Well, actually, yes, there is a time-honored tradition of sex in churches. Really? Yes. You know, you're right. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, the, there was a, a survey done in the 70s of nuns and priests. Y- and yes. They found out that uh, 15% of them at least admitted to actually uh, getting it on while they were nuns and priests. That's a, Yes. Uh, yes, yes, yes. She seems to know a lot about everything, doesn't she? Professor Betsy, we call her around here. Miss Know-It-All. Oh, come on. Yes, yes, yes. Wow, that's fascinating. I, d- I never knew that. That is something I didn't know about um, uh, sex, that uh, priests and um, uh, nuns. Well, Tony, the uh, the phones have exploded. we got uh, Eric Eric Logan on the line here. Wants to talk Eric to Logan? Russ, Russ Kick, the author. Eric. Hey. Hey, Eric. Guys, can I talk to the uh, the author? Yeah, you're on you're with Russ Kick. Here. Hi, Mr. Kick. On the air. Hi. Hi, I'm Eric from Logan. How are you? Doing fine. Um... You know, I, I was reading a book about sex, and, um, you know, if, if you write about sex, um, people will read it. Do you, have you found that, that uh, the sexual subject really uh, does touch a lot of people? They want to uh, uh, learn more about it? Uh, well, I, I hope so. <laughs> this guy's asshole with a Freddy Krueger glove. <laughs> Bring me Pastor Greg. I believe that's the same caller as before. This guy has the sex appeal of Arthur Ashe's paper cut. This guy is as sexy as breast cancer. Would you? All right, listen. If we can't get our phones screened properly, then uh, we're going to have to get a new staff over there, okay? If you couldn't tell that was the same person from earlier, uh, maybe you need to go back to uh, phone screener school. Because now I'm just steamed. I'm really... I have to apologize, Russ. Um, your book is fantastic. I've been uh, reading. I've had it on the night table uh, for the past few nights, and it's fascinating reading, and I love it. Well, thank you. And we want to thank you so much for um, spending a little time with us and uh, sharing uh, everything you know about sex is wrong. Oh, wait, uh, wait, wait, wait! Just go, come on. don't just okay. D- uh, in in closing, uh, where can we get this book? Oh, it's on Amazon, and it's making its way into bookstores across the country. Do you find that the reaction to it has been, uh, uh, would you say it's a reaction that, like, kind of you subliminally expected, or would you say that it's more um, on a level with people going, well, you know, I mean, come on, I mean, how much are we supposed to, to take with, with, with whatever it is, you know? Well, actually, the book was just printed, so I haven't you know, you're right. gotten much oh. feedback at all yet. Except, of course, from your from your interesting caller there. When's it go on sale? Oh, it's actually it's starting to go on sale right now. Yeah. Now Betsy's really contributing. Yeah. Yeah. Tearing that ass up. Betsy sometimes, Russ, likes a fat fucking c- till she gets indigestion. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh. Holy fucking Ramon. <laughs> God damn it. Fucking kill me. I love the, uh, the... There go the books. Oh, no! <laughs> That's heavy. I love the, uh... The, the, the clips with the check. That was great. Oh. It was really funny. Oh, guys. Wow. Well, that went well. I think we learned a lot. All right. <laughs> let's let's uh